Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about the new set in NBA 2K22, my team, the B set. So, obviously, we got a ton of new cards. A lot of this is the Hunt for Glory playoff push, which does look like grindable content, okay? And we're going to be covering that in another video. But in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about specifically the 15 cards in the beast uh set that did come out today which lock-in is for 300 tokens guys please whatever you do do not lock in this set for 300 tokens it's the first thing i'm going to say you can get all these players i don't care do not lock in for 300 tokens tokens are so easy to get in my team before we dive any further into this video today if you are new to the channel and have not yet please consider smash that subscribe buddies we're on the road to 90 000 subscribers so let's just look at the beasts set that we got today okay let's just look at the beast set uh specifically okay isaiah rider up first okay six five is six eight wingspan shooting guard small forward hot spot from that right corner and the top of the key as well as the left hash 34 base badges for ruby offensively is going to be fine the problem again is it's hard to find complete ruby players power dribble style brawn base i'm gonna have really good driving dunk the big problem lies with the fact that he's 6'5 and not gonna be able to play great defense is he fine for a budget baller i mean sure maybe to grind xp but that's really all you should use him for big george mirasan up next look if you've had trouble guarding yao ming is george mirasan the yao stopper no he's got 25 speed a 25 three ball 25 lateral quickness this george mirzon card is absolutely terrible it's about as all i can say is this card literally stinks in my team if you want to run mirzon do what you got to do but he is literally going to be so slow and he's even got 55 stamina this card absolutely stinks like this george mirzon card is literally awful where where's taco i'm pretty sure taco fall is supposed to be in here hold up well i know taco fall is somewhere in here let's 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 I, let's just go back here and, and look at this taco fall card because i know that he should be up next and here he is taco fall here's seven six eight four wingspan okay so george mirasan wasn't the taco stop or wasn't the yao stopper is taco fall the yao stopper seven six eight four wingspan 39 speed 25 lateral quickness way better stamina taco is so much better than mirasan but still guys not a card i'd recommend running look if you're trying to stop yao there's better ways to do it than running cards with 39 speed and 25 lateral quickness if you are going to run a giant ruby card run taco instead of george though that is one thing i recommend as taco fall is definitely better than big george mirasan don maker at the power four position up next seven feet tall, seven one wingspan hot spots from three to five place around the arc one of the favorite 29 on gold 84 three ball 80 driving dunk can handle the ball decently 80 speed decent defensive stats this don maker card guys is pretty souped 40 jump shot 47 remember guys seven feet tall at the power forward position really good length pretty solid all the way around is he a card that you know if you're trying to build the best squad you should run no but for like no many spent squads this don maker is basically a must-have a super complete player in my team just really not gonna be able to handle the ball too much can't apply any badges but as he comes Don Maker is going to be really, really, really solid. Oscar Robertson. I was waiting for a better Oscar card. I was hoping, you know, we'd get a really good Oscar card. This Oscar card is not really good. He's going to be basically like the Pink Diamond Lock and Reward. So if you never got the chance to use the Pink Diamond Oscar, I mean, here's really your chance. They're literally basically the same card. The Pink Diamond still is going to probably be a little bit better. But, I mean, he's going to be fine. All the way around, Oscar's okay. Base dribble style, Oscar release. Not necessarily a card I recommend running, but for budget players at 6'5", I don't think he's going to be terrible. Like, I really don't think he's horrible in my team because of his height. Jeff Green, a card that I personally have been waiting for for a long time. Sort of my nobody spent squad. 6'8", 7'1", wingspan, hot spots from both corners in the top of the key. 84, 3 ball, 90 driving deck, 86, 3 ball, 86, 1, 89, speed acceleration, 89, lateral quickness, incredible all-around defender. The best part about him, jump shot 50 on quick. The only person that has that release is Jeff Green, one of the smoothest releases in all of 2K, especially if you are on current gen. I know that for a fact. 
obviously can get every badge into the game gonna have you know three four three or four badge spots so you got to kind of be pretty precise on what you give him this card's pretty complete the fact that he can run this small four position at six eight and be as good as he is we're starting to see some of these budget cards that are going to be able to compete with some of the top cards in the game bob sir hear me out on bob sir man hear me out six five six eight wingspan let's just start with this shifty dribble style jump shot 38 it's on normal timing which i wish it was on quick i definitely wish jump shot 38 was on quick but normal timing that's okay 88 three ball 95 driving 91 super ball, 86 ball handle 91 speed acceleration 88 lateral quickness 79 interior hall of fame posterizer slither you catch shoot downhill quick first step pogo stick can get every badge in the game and remember guys he is 6'5 at 200 pounds i'm at, maybe i'm gassing this do not be surprised if Bob Sear is the top point guard in the game. 79 interior. His stats remind me a lot of this card right here. Now, I know Penny's 6'7", but his stats defensively, I told you, they remind me a lot of each other. Obviously, Bob Sear is going to be better in some areas. Penny Hardaway is going to be better in the post. Here's what I'll say, though. These cards are close. And in just everything, they're close. Penny Hardaway obviously is 6'7", so that's where he has the advantage. But Bob Sir, if he is cheap, is going to be one of the best value cards in the entire game. Darius Miles, look, guys, I'm sorry if you locked in Anton Jameson. It's basically all I'm going to tell you so far. Six Hall of Famers, 38 on gold, 6 9, 7 foot wingspan, 85 3 ball, 90 driving duck, 85 2 ball, 86 ball, no 88 speed acceleration, 87 lateral quickness. Wish that interior was maybe a little bit better. Hall of Fame chase down his quick first step downhill with limitless takeoff posterizer and triple. Again, a guy that can get any badge in the game. Do I love this Darius Miles card? I mean, I don't necessarily love it, but with fundamental dribble style, Hall of Fame quick first step, gonna be able to move a little bit. I don't mind this Darius Miles card at all. You're gonna hear me say I like a lot of these cards because a lot of these cards are pretty solid and Darius Miles is one of them. Card that I personally might be the most excited for is diamond josh smith six nine at the power four position you can play him at center if you want seven foot wingspan hot spots from both corners 81 three ball 97 driving duck 86 ball, 86 water let's look at the defense though 94 speed acceleration 94 lateral quickness hall of fame clamps interceptor intimidator pogo stick can't get limitless spot but remember he's gonna play the four does he really need that no the catch shoot corner specialist that's really what you're looking at you give him box brick wall worm heck maybe even uh give him the sniper badge he's gonna have a smooth release the brook lopez base on normal timing if you've been waiting for a josh smith like i have we've got him it's gonna be our josh smith to use just another option that's gonna be a budget baller for you guys that is absolutely incredible it's gonna be hard for me to talk negative at on a lot of these cards you guys are starting to see the card art come in and this card is not going to be a negative. I'm not going to talk negative about this card. How can you? I mean, how can you? I know the base dribble style, but how can I talk negative about AK? 6'9", 7-foot wingspan, 55 base badges, 88 3 ball, 80 driving duck, 87 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 88 speed. Duh, look at the defensive stats, though. I will say, a lot of his stats are very similar to the Andre Kirilenko that we last saw. I mean... You compare the cards, speed's basically the same. Three ball sees plus eight, driving dunk goes up. But a lot of these stats are literally the same. But defensively, he becomes a lot better. And the more important factor is the badges. I mean, Hall of Fame, Ball Stripper, Chase the Artist, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Menace, Pogostick, and Tyler Spender. All of those badges are on Hall of Fame. He can get Limitless. He can get Shep. You give him those two badges, heck, even maybe throw handles for days on him to troll. I know he's got base dribble style, but it doesn't really matter. AK is going to be up there for being one of the best cards in the game. Combine that with he's got jump shot 98. Base 98 on Andre Karolinko. Now, I will go off on a limb and say I do not know what base 98 is like on normal timing. Because on Patty Mills, it's on quick. So, it's going to be a lot of it is what is base 98 like on normal timing. Because, again, on next gen, I haven't used it a lot this year. Current gen, I feel like it is going to be absolutely immaculate. We'll just have to see on with Andre Karolinko what exactly that base 98 looks like on both gens but if base 98 is what it was last year he is going to be probably the best small forward in the entire game am i guessing ak maybe but my goodness kp look for all you guys that grinded yao i'm sorry guys but we've got a guy that i think can hold it down versus yao who is seven three when I say hold it down, obviously defense, he's not going to be quite as good. But he's 7'3", can't run the power forward position. I was wondering if he could, because if he could, you could run KP at the 4 and Yao at the 5. Just trying to get cheesy. 
46 base badges, hot spots from everywhere, 93 three ball, can dunk the ball, handle the ball, not great, but a little bit. 80 speed, we like to see the, uh, that a little bit higher, but defensively, he's not terrible. Here's what I'm gonna say about Chris Steps, right? Badge-wise, you can push Shep on him. Shooting-wise, is literally so complete. Can't give him clamps, no chase down, but here's the deal, guys. You give him Hustler, you give him, uh, I mean, he's got all the interior badges already. That's all that really matters. You know, you fully badge him up on the offense, bend fast, twitch, maybe limitless takeoff. And here's the big deal, guys. You give him Monty Williams, it's going to help him out. Monty boosts his speed, interior perimeter defense. So now you're looking at a car with an 85 speed, a 90 interior, 80 perimeter, becomes a better rebounder. He gets a lot better. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that he is better than Yao Ming. But for some play styles, he's going to be. Like for some play styles, including myself, I think Chris Stapps Porzingis has the advantage over Yao Ming. That's my personal opinion. Now, you guys can slander me in the comments if you want to, but he has fundamental dribble style, Brooke Lopez based. Give me Chris Stapps Porzingis right up there with Yao for being one of the top centers in all of 2K. LaMelo Ball was wondering if they'd make him 6'6 or 6'7. They made him 6'6, 6'10 wingspan, still decent. Hot spots right where outside of the top key. Let's start here. Still has got slash triple style. Still has got jump shot 81 on normal timing. 89 three ball, 80 driving duck, 89 two ball, 92 ball handle. 89 speed acceleration, 88 lateral quickness. 75 interior is not horrible. Shooting wise, pretty solid. Playmaker wise, again, pretty solid. Defensively, they gave him Hall of Fame interceptor. There is no way that they gave LaMelo Ball a Hall of Fame interceptor. That is absolutely ridiculous. You give this LaMelo Ball brick wall, intimidator, post lockdown, rim, ankle braces, whatever of those, like he's gonna be up there for being the top defensive point guard in the game. And that's the big thing that you're looking at, right? You don't have to run all your offense through your point guard. You see, so you run LaMelo at the point guard, you know, a secondary ball handler like uh, Terry Dishinger, for example, LaMelo Ball is gonna be up there. I mean, he's got decent playmaking badges. He's gonna be handle, able to handle the ball. Just that slasher dribble that I'm not really sure about. LaMelo Ball is up there for being one of the best point guards in the entire game, though. Next up, Ja Morant, 6'3", 6'7", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere, 15 out of the famers, 42 on gold, 94, 3 ball, 95 driving deck, 96 3 ball, 92 ball, 96 speed acceleration, 94 lateral quickness. The only thing I was wondering for Ja Morant is what would the interior be? It's out of 75, which is decent enough. One thing I always say about Ja, uh, 8 out of his 15 total Hall of Fame badges are finishing. I'm not necessarily a big fan of that. There's a Hall of Fame limitless, sniper mismatch, and catch and shoot. Hall of Fame floor general, quick first step. Defensively does have Hall of Fame clamps, which can help him out. Can get brick wall as well, which is a big badge, especially if you are on, if you are on next gen. Paul George base on normal timing, shifty dribble style. This card's just going to be a really big upgrade over the pink diamond. It's the best thing I can say. Actually going to be able to uh, compete on the interior, which is a big deal as well. Given brick wall post lockdown, John Moran's going to be up there as far as playable point guards in my team. A Disney up next, man. I was, thought, I was thinking maybe they juice AD, give him like 20 Hall of Famers. They're still taking it pretty easy. 6'10", 7'2", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere outside the top of the key. 15 Hall of Famers, 38 on gold. So 53 base badges. 89 three ball, 88 driving duck, 81 two ball, 84 ball handle, 87 speed acceleration, 87 ladder quickness. This card right here is basically the same as the last Anthony Davis that we saw last year. Like you compare their stats, they are eerily similar. Like same speed, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are the exact same cards stat wise. Now badge wise, they are uh, just that little bit different. They're both really good cards, but they're just a little bit different in general. Uh, so yeah, AD here, let's look at the badges. Four uh, finishing, three shooting, one playmaking, and defensively is absolutely incredible. Combine that with the fact that AD can get every badge outside of Limitless. So you can't give him Limitless spot up or Chef, which hurts. I mean, hurts him a little bit as far as a, a popping big. But defensively, he's going to be immaculate. You look at this, you give him, let's say, Monty Williams. That's who my coach is. 94 three ball, 92 speed, 99 interior, 90 perimeter. I hate to break this, guys. Uh, to you guys down like this, but he might be able to stop Yeah, I'm just saying that with this interior at a 99, with his vertical at a 92, all these defensive badges, don't be surprised if he gets fake stops on a guy like Yao Ming. 80 release on normal timing. I thought they might give it on quick timing, but still on normal timing. He's going to be up there for being the top bigs in the game. He can definitely play the power forward position if you if that's where you want to play him. Just know he's might, you know, you might want to give him a ball handle shoot if that is the case. 80 is super solid in 2K though. Last card we're gonna talk about today is the Galaxy Opal Giannis Antetokounmpo here. Okay, 6'11, 
seven four wingspan he can play small forward an absolute cheese ball at small forward small forward power forward 15 out of favors 37 on gold people wonder what the three ball was 76 i said 76 or 77 it was probably going to be the three ball of our next Giannis. but the big deal is you apply monty williams you get that to an 81 and then he gets a 95 driving deck 89 C ball 86 point 99 speed 94 acceleration 94 interior 95 perimeter 94 lateral quickness is Giannis Antetokounmpo the best pure lock in NBA 2K22 my team? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he is a, a dude that you want to put on ball. Maybe, maybe he is. Maybe that's the cheese putting Giannis Antetokounmpo on the ball. You give him unpluckable, guys. You give him handles for days. It's really what you're looking at. He can't get limitless. Okay, cool. I mean, how many times did I ever shoot the ball from limitless with Giannis? The answer is maybe zero. No sniper as well, but I mean, you're going to have to green with Giannis. So, fact is, you're not going to give him that many uh, shooting badges, but that's okay, man. That's okay. Give him unpluckable, hand us for days, badge him out, give him, you know, the, the, the mouse in the house badge as well. Make him that much better on as far as everything else. If you really have a souped up pink diamond Giannis, is he comparable to this Giannis? I mean, maybe. I'm still taking this Giannis every day of the week. I'm absolutely in love with this Giannis Antetokounmpo. So as far as good cards, my the highest card, or the cards I'm highest on, yes, I guess AD. I went over the AD that can't get those badges. We do, uh, we did also get an NBA 75 uh, AD that can get the Limitless and Chef badge. So if you're wondering, you know, Ty, wait, there is, he can, yes, you're right, okay, he can get Limitless and Chef on the better version. Ho is probably going to cost you guys a lot more MT. But cards I'm probably highest on is Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and Andre Kirilenko. I think those are probably the two I'm highest on, as well as Giannis. Cards I'm not super high on. I guess Lamelo's incredible too. Ja Morant's probably the card, I guess, in here that I'm not the highest on. Again, we're going to be going over these rewards in another video, so make sure to tune into that. Let's get to wrap it up for our video today. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.